Happy Deep Dive Wednesday. Have you read the memo? You know, the memo. Now, I'm not talking about the memo that most everyone else is talking about, which claims abuse of authority in our government. I'm talking about this memo, this message from God, His Word, that teaches us how to live according to His will in a way that honors and glorifies Him. I can't tell you how many people I have met who say, yeah, I believe in God and I love Him, but mm, this, it's too hard to read, or it's irrelevant, or I'm too busy. Y'all, there is nothing more important for us to read every day of our lives than God's Word, which is His gracious instruction on how to live our lives in a way that pleases Him. In Matthew 5-7, to Jesus gives His Sermon on the Mount. It's a powerful, extraordinary message about what our lives should look like as Christ followers. And at the end of that sermon, Jesus says this, Everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them may be compared to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and slammed against the house, and yet it did not fall, for it had been built on the rock. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and slammed against the house and it fell. Great was its fall. In a world where it feels like it's just one storm after another, the only way that we can be certain to stand is by trusting in the Lord and live our, living our lives according to His Word. A life built on God's instruction is a life built to withstand the struggles of life. A life built on anything else, self-achievement, pride, financial success, well, that is a life that is bound to fall, ultimately. In Second Chronicles, we read about how King Solomon builds the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. And in front of that temple, he puts two pillars, one on the right and the other on the left. And he named the one on the right Yaquin, and the one on the left was Boaz. The translation in the Hebrew for Yaquin is he establishes, and the translation for Boaz, in strength. When God's temple is built according to his will and his way, he will establish it in his strength. Now, God's word also tells us that today, as Christ followers, our bodies are his temple. So, when we live our lives and establish them according to His Word, He will establish us in His strength, designed to withstand any struggle that comes our way. Now that is a memo worth reading, don't you think? Thanks for joining us in the Deep End this week. We'll see you next Wednesday.